Kyle one welcome to your guys's video about what truth is about to be revealed to you soon so i haven't pulled any cards yet i was just gonna be using my i i have like three different oracle decks that i've mixed in this big stack of cards i have more over here i was just gonna be pulling cards for you through my different decks that i have here i'm not using any tarot cards i'm just gonna be channeling from spirit as well as these cards to see what you need to know so this truth that i was really channeling for you before i picked up my deck i was hearing the truth of your consequences so i feel like you guys are expecting some sort of result from either an action that you may have partaken or maybe this is something that you're expecting to see results in but you are wanting to see maybe like more of a confirmation or clarity so the truth that's going to be revealed to you i'm seeing something about how you're going to be seeing a consequence of an action that maybe you may have taken or this is an action that maybe someone else has taken towards you but you want to see like evidence or confirmation or signs of something that you are ask asking about so let's go ahead and see what exactly that is? What are you wanting confirmation of? Like, what are you wanting to see evidence of? Your commitment is being tested. So you have maybe been trying to push yourself when it comes to, I'm hearing hard work and diligence in my mind. So you may have been pushing yourself extra hard when it comes to your job. Um, maybe you've been feeling tested in regards to a commitment that you've made and maybe your love life or relationships. But when you think of commitments, this is like a promise. And this is something that you are putting effort and time and also responsibility towards. So you are wanting to see evidence when it comes to a goal that maybe you've been putting a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into. You're wanting to see like, is this worth it? Um, yeah, I'm really channeling that. I'm channeling, is this worth it? You want to know if what you are aiming towards, what you have been putting so much energy and time into, is this going to be reaping the rewards or giving you the confirmation that you need when it comes to whatever this is regarding. I think you're wanting to know if this is something that you should keep doing also. I think you're questioning if this is long-term, if this is something that will be benefiting you in the long run. I think that's something that you are wanting clarity on. And underneath the deck, I just looked, we have financial health. I will take that. And as you can see, abundance is here as well i think you're wanting to know something in regards to your money or your career um i think i'm hearing something about how you want to feel financially free don't we all <laughs> i also want to feel financially free but i'm hearing less burden less responsibility or at least if it's not less burden or less responsibility pile one you want to feel that the work that you're putting into something is going to be, you know, like a tree. When you think of trees, trees will grow for years and years and years. Um, if you look at the rings, if you were to cut down a tree and look at the base of the tree, I don't know if you guys have ever done this in school, but they taught us that each ring is like 10 years, right? So you can see the longevity of how old that tree is. This is making me think that you want something um, that will sprout from a seed and into this beautiful tree that will grow for generations and generations. You want to feel like what you're doing, what you're putting your money, your time, and your energy into is not just worth it in the immediate um, time frame. It's not just a gratification of, a, of an immediate result, but you want something that will last you for possibly the rest of your life so when you commit to something or someone you see this as the long haul so if you're looking at for example 
you want to get married, you are the type of person that's extremely loyal and you would be with that person till the day that you died, right? You take, I actually am getting that you take commitments, marriage and contracts very seriously to the point where it's like you're in it or you're not. Like you take it to death, like death do we part, right? I'm seeing this as you have committed to something that you see as this is your one and all, regardless if this is a person. I'm really getting this has to do with like, family matters because i'm seeing the tree as family legacy generational wealth um and also just your money and your career so you see something that has the potential to be your long-term situation but as of late you haven't been seeing any fruits of your labor you feel like god is i'm hearing that you feel like god or the universe is mocking you um, why do you feel that way? I, I know you may be going through a hard time. Sorry, you guys. You know, I know that you may be going through a hard time, but it seems like I'm hearing that it feels like a waste. Um, your, your potential feels like it's wasted. Why am I channeling that? Your emotions. Yeah, so you, you're feeling really emotional right now. I'm almost getting that you're waiting. Wow, I'm hearing catastrophe. Pile one. You may have a mindset where you tend to get a little bit more pessimistic. I'm hearing that you have lived a life or maybe you just have had experiences in your past pile one where you have had to see the things that you've invested your time into crumble and be destroyed in a very traumatic sense. So like, for example, maybe you've had relationships in your life that were a little bit tumultuous. Um, maybe you've had relationships that have really crushed your spirit. I'm also seeing something about how you've had jobs where you thought that this was what you're going to be doing and then maybe something traumatic happens or you got fired unexpectedly or your job just closed unexpectedly. Like I'm seeing unexpected shattered dreams. It's like you feel like once when things start to get better for you, you're almost waiting for the impact of when is this going to leave my life? And I think this is what you're thinking is going to happen with this thing that you're wanting results in. It's almost like nothing's happening. I think that's what's going on with you, Pile One, is you are feeling like, I feel like something's going to happen, but I don't know what it is. And, it, and instead of expecting the positive change of what could happen you're expecting the the opposite the worst case scenario because as of right now it feels like your life is at a standstill and i think that's why you're getting a little bit worried because you're like okay nothing is happening but i'm feeling something is going to be happening soon but i can i don't know when it's going to happen but i can sense a change in the air um and usually when that happens it's almost like it's making me think of when you know when you're about to have some sort of lightning or thunder, you can almost see the hair start to, sorry, there's a, uh, a bus outside. Um, you can start to see the hair on your arms raise up from like the static electricity. It's almost like you can sense something's about to be zapped into your life. But you don't know if this is going to be a good thing or a bad thing, but you can sense a sudden change, a sudden upheaval. And I'm getting this tower card in my head. You're, you're almost expecting, and it may even be this for you, Pile One, but it may not be a bad thing necessarily, but you're almost expecting this lightning to hit this tree and completely destroy it. Um, but I'm almost hearing like, I'm hearing there's something about the rarity of this opportunity i'm almost seeing this i don't know why i'm getting this impression i'm seeing this image of you expecting the worst case scenario of being struck by lightning but instead of it like burning you to a crisp or killing you or annihilating something that you are putting energy into i'm hearing like superpowers <laughs> like i know this is really strange i get really weird analogies pal one but i'm almost seeing like you get struck by lightning and instead of it crushing you and killing you on the spot, it almost gives you like these supernatural powers of extremism. Um, this almost feels like a once in a lifetime opportunity. So you're feeling scared of what could happen that is negative, but I think your spirit guides are wanting you to know that it's actually going to be extremely positive. And I'm seeing this as like a once in a blue moon opportunity. So 
they want to confirm that what you're feeling, you're sensing something's going to change. And they're saying that you are right on the money, that something is definitely going to change. But they want you to change your outlook on what kind of change it is. Um, I'm, they're also saying sorry. I'm hearing sorry. There, there may even be wanting to apologize for the things that you may have gone through um, just in your past or maybe when you were younger, pile one. But I'm also sensing that they want you to take this time of pause to do some self-reflection and forgive yourself, but also forgive the past disappointments that you may have gone through in your life. All right. I think this is a time of rest and reevaluation and even though it feels like your commitment's being tested which it might be this is just a moment of healing i'm hearing that this is a moment of you being able to release negativity in your life being able to purge out the old i'm sensing a really big new beginning that's about to enter your life soon so let's go ahead and see what that's about what is this new beginning i'm hearing a sense of a new direction that i'm channeling for you that's part of the new beginning but what is this new beginning that's about to be entering your life, pile one? Attend to the details. So I'm seeing a little bit of hard work, right? There's going to be a lot of things going on. When you think of the attend to the details, this is making me think that there's going to be some, I'm hearing finishing up to do. There's going to be some work to do. Um, I'm also hearing something about paperwork and contracts. So I am seeing like signing and finalizing things. Um, okay, we also got the card that says love. So a new chapter in your love life. So for some of you guys, this could be a chapter in regards to maybe you're going to be getting married or maybe you could even be like, I'm hearing finalizing on a house. So that's really specific. Underneath the deck was happiness. So you need to know and a new romantic cycle begins. I think there's a really big chapter on your guys' love life, but I'm seeing this being a blessing. You're going to be happy about it. It's exciting, right? Um, a new romantic cycle begins. So again, this is a beginning, a new chapter in your love life. But if this is not your love life, I am seeing love here, but this can just talk about love and relationships that you have. This could be like a new friendship. This could be a new cycle in your family dynamics. I'm seeing a happy result in regards to your personal relationships. I'm not really getting your, I'm not really sensing a new person. I'm just sensing happiness in your current connections that you have. And underneath that, we also have abundance. So an abundance of love, an abundance of happiness. I want to clarify the attended details because I feel like there's something that you're finishing up. I was kind of getting like paperwork or contracts or something like that. What is that? I'm also hearing cleaning house in my head. So that could be literally like literally cleaning house or you're cleaning something up and you're finalizing something before you have this new beginning in your love life or your romantic partnerships or just your relationships in general. Clarity. The attend to details and clarity. You're going to be getting clarity in regards to what you should be focusing on. I'm also hearing what you should be purging out of your life. Um, clarity on what else, spirit? What else are they going to be getting clarity on? Don't let pride get in your way. You're going to be getting clarity in regards to what you need to be doing and not what your ego is telling you that you should be doing. I think what's going to be happening for you is you are going to be feeling this sense of freedom when it comes to what you think you should be doing and not what you actually want to be doing, right? When you think of the ego, the ego is all about what would make me look good, what would make me stand out, what would make me look like I'm doing better, right? There's a sense of almost like you want appreciation from people or you want people to recognize you, you want people to validate you. but. With you doing that, you're not being able to validate your own feelings or your own sense of what would make me happy. So the biggest thing that I'm seeing for you is you're going to be finalizing something. You're going to be attending, again, attending to the details of um, maybe making some changes or cleaning something out. Maybe you're going to be getting rid of things. Or maybe this is going to be a time in your life where you're ready to move away from a certain place or a certain location or a certain mindset that can help you get the clarity as well as having this new beginning in your life that is going to be leading you to emotional happiness. As I said that, uh, beginnings here, this happiness is going to be a new beginning for you. 
underneath that it says focus on the positive so you are going to be having a new beginning in terms to your mindset in terms to you feeling i'm hearing feeling proud of yourself um, but also just expecting good things to come your way because I really feel like what's happening here is you are learning to be kinder to yourself. You're learning to be, you know, nice to you, learning how to be embracing of what is not expected in your life. That's interesting. So you're embracing uncertainty is what I'm, I'm hearing in my mind and I'm hearing that you're going to be channeling uh, as well as, um, yeah, why did I say channeling? I was going to say that you're challenging yourself, but I said channeling. So you may be channeling some sort of alter ego is what I'm hearing. You may be channeling this more courageous and bold version of yourself to get things done in this season of your life. But there, it seems like there's things that you want to change. And for you to do that, you need to not just be kinder to yourself, but you need to be a little bit more... Um, I'm hearing open to receiving. So again, that pride may actually be making you turn your your nose away from people or be like, no, I know what's best for me. But your spirit guides are trying to send help your way as of right now or it's already happening and you may be refusing offers or you may be trying to just do it yourself. And I'm hearing that you don't need to do that anymore. Um, I'm seeing, I am seeing that there's some sort of personal issue that's going to be having a happy outcome for you. And I want to see what that is really quickly. I really am getting that your money situation is going to be a lot better in the next couple of months. Um, your mental health. So one of the biggest things that you're going to be getting help on when it comes to what you're struggling with, one of the things that you're struggling with is in regards to your mental health. I am seeing something regarding healing. I'm seeing something regarding closure. When you think of the 12th house, this is your sense of spirit, your sense of will. Um, I'm also seeing this, if, if you've been having mental health issues, that's something that you're going to be maybe wanting to get help for, or maybe you're going to be working on it. Again, there's something you've been stubborn about. And I think you need to be able to reframe something differently so that you can get better results. And I think you've been refusing help. You've been refusing the sense of closure. You've been refusing um, healing or forgiveness or apologies or whatever that is. And that is something that your spirit guides want you to focus on and work on right now. Um, especially when it comes to family. That's one of the things that I'm really channeling for you. Okay, so before I end your guys' reading, I want to get one last message regarding your money because that was the first thing that came up for you. I want to see what you need to know regarding your money um, that's going to be happening and coming up for you really quick. <laughs> Transformation. So you need to know that something that is about to bloom, right? When you think of butterflies, there you've been in this caterpillar mode in your life, all right? And it's, it seems like there's been a lot of areas of your life that's been put on pause. It literally feels like you've been put on pause, which is why the sense of something changing at a rapid rate, I'm feeling that. It's like the sense of the electricity in the air, right? You think it's going to be bad because nothing good has happened in a long time for you. But not, and nothing bad has happened for you in a long time either, but just nothing has been happening at all. And what you're going to be seeing is something that you've planted, something that you've been going through a transitional phase in your life is about to bloom, right? The sun's coming out. It's ready. I'm hearing ready, set, go. I'm seeing a train, literally an image of a train coming in and stopping. And you're going to be like getting on the train. And again, earlier... Like I said earlier in the reading, I have a bus, a school bus that stops right across the street from our house to pick up kids for, you know, for school. And that happened in your reading. And I'm going to take that as a sign because you are about ready to get picked up by spirit. They're like, it's time for you to start your journey. You've been waiting at this rest stop for a long time. Nothing's been coming your way. But it's time now. And that's what it's making me think. It's time for you to get ready to go. I'm hearing that. You need to go. And again, you need to be able to close this chapter. Look at the bigger picture. 
but pile one that's all that i have to say for you i really hope that this was helpful let me see i'm sorry before i go i want to see if i can get a month of when this is going to be happening this transformation august eight is august all right so this is a time frame for you but that's all that i have to say pile one i will see all of you guys later Bye. Pile 2, welcome to your guys' pick a card reading about a truth that is about to be revealed to you. So I don't have any cards laid out on the table. I was just going to make this plain and simple. I have three oracle decks that I've mixed into one big deck and I was only going to be pulling cards from this oracle deck today just to get messages. I'm going to be channeling from spirit for you in regards to what you need to know, what truth is going to be revealed. But before I go ahead and do that, I was having a channeled message for you, all right? Um, this may be a hard pill to swallow, Pile 2, but whatever you are trying to force to be in your life right now, you need to let it go, all right? That was the main message that I heard. Stop trying to fit something in your life that doesn't fit. And I'm getting this, like... I don't know if you guys played this as a kid. It's almost like a box that, sorry you guys, it's like a box that has like different cut out holes and then you have shapes and you try to fit it in the hole. It's like you have a circle piece and you're trying to fit it in a triangle piece. There's no way you're going to be able to make that fit. But I'm seeing that you're very stubborn and I wanna say this in a positive way for you. Your stubbornness will get you very far when it comes to your goals. And I think you have been able to manifest things because of your determination and drive. But in regards to this thing, God, your spirit guides, the universe, they're telling you that this is not for you and that that's okay, but you need to make peace with the situation and you need to walk away from it. They're saying that there's something better for you but you're not allowing yourself to look past this one thing or this one person. It's like you're hyper fixated on something that I think you know deep down is not meant to be with you. But again, your ego is getting in the way. You have a really, I want to compliment you because this is not a bad thing, pile two. Your drive, I'm getting like you may have some like Aries or Scorpio placements, maybe even some Taurus placements too, because I'm getting that you are, when you get head set on something, you will push yourself till you achieve that. And not many people have the willpower that you do, all right? I'm seeing this as like a steamroller, like you get shit done. You need to know how powerful your drive is because anything that you want to put your will into, I'm seeing that most of the time you can make shit happen. You can literally turn apples into lemonade. Like it's not possible, but you find a way to do the impossible. So your spirit guides need to know that this is a really beautiful quality that you have because it's rare, but they want you to see that no matter how hard you push against this thing or you try to manifest this situation or this person, this is not for you. They need you to know that no matter how hard because they want better for you. I don't, I'm not going to say that this person or situation is a bad fit, but it's almost like, again, apples and oranges. It's not, they're, it's not the same. You need to find something that fits you. You need to find a person that's like a counterpart to you. Because I'm getting that this is about a relationship or a friendship or I don't even know. It, it's some sort of, it's not an equal. This is a person. This is not your equal. They don't match your energy. I'm channeling that. Or if this is a place, again, it's not reciprocating your energy. It's very uneven when it comes to the balance of power here. Um, I'm hearing that you need some, wow, if this is a person, you need someone that can handle you because you were powerful. If this is talking about a friendship or a person, it's like they're a lower rank than you and that's okay, right? It doesn't make you better than them and it doesn't make them worse than you. It just means that you guys are on different pages. You guys need different things. Um, and in any way, it doesn't even matter if it's a person, just you need something that complements and fits you and your lifestyle and your sense of identity. And I think you know that this thing doesn't fit. And I'm even hearing that you may even be changing yourself to fit this situation or to fit this person's mindset. Um, your spirit guides want you to stop that because again, I know I'm kind of like 
going down your your neck with this information but your spirit guides want you to recognize how awesome you are and that you don't need to downplay yourself or change yourself or try to water down your essence to fit a situation or to fit a person or to i'm hearing mimic a lifestyle so you may even be like trying to mimic someone or trying to become someone else to fit a narrative or fit a situation in your life that isn't you and your spirit guides want you to cut the shit i'm, I'm just going to be very frank with you because i'm getting there's a masculine energy that i'm channeling that could be like an uncle or a father figure and they're very cutthroat i'm getting that they're very blunt in their verbiage <laughs> so i don't know if you know who this person is but they're like they're just like kind of like sarcastic in their tone. I'm channeling this could be like a family member or something, but I'm picking up on a masculine energy for someone. And this spirit guide I'm getting could be someone that you used to know or a family member. And they don't play, right? They're not going to be sugarcoating. They're not going to be trying to, you know, make you feel good. They're going to be telling you the God honest truth. And they're very blunt about it, but they're, they're doing this because they love you. And so I'm channeling their energy. And it's just, it's very quick with their words and they're not going to tell you what you want to hear. They're going to tell you what you need to hear. Um, but I'm hearing that you're going to appreciate it. So <laughs> I don't know who I am uh, channeling, but I, I am channeling a spirit guide for someone in particular that maybe you knew in this current life. Um, anyway, so yeah, it's making me think that you're trying to... Uh, <sighs> I'm hearing something about a cold shoulder. I'm not even channeling or picking up cards. I'm just channeling from spirit. And I'm getting that you are going to be rejected from someone or rejecting for something in your life. And your spirit guides are wanting you to know now so that it doesn't hurt as much as when it happens. Um, and the reason why you're going to be getting this rejection or this cold shoulder or this dismissal is again, like I've been telling you, it's not for you. I don't think this rejection has happened or if it has, it just recently happened and you're not accepting it. There's something about not accepting the truth of a situation. And so your spirit guides wanted to come here today and let you know like, hey, you need to accept that this is not for you. So that's the truth of that. I want to pull some cards and see if this is not for you, then what is next for you, right? I want to see, let's get one card for you to see what else you need to know about this thing or person or situation that isn't for you. I'm going to get like one closing message regarding that. And then I want to see what is for you. What is next for you, right? Because um, it's frustrating to hear like no or a closed door or an opportunity that isn't for us. So work through your fears. So what you need to know about this thing that isn't for you is again, do you see how there's the Scorpio energy that I was channeling? You are being hidden from what isn't for you, hidden from the truth. Again, this is a black out, a black moon. You're not seeing something for what it is, but when you think of scorpions, they hold on to it, right, for dear life. And Scorpio is a water sign, so I'm seeing this as holding on to something emotionally. Um, when you think of Taurus, they're very similar to Scorpios, but they hold on to things physically, a possession. So I'm seeing that you are holding on to the emotion or the nostalgia of a situation or a person. You may already physically have moved on from this person, place, or thing, or it's already out of your life, but you're still holding on to resentment. And so your spirit guide, because I'm channeling one in particular, they're telling you that you need to be able to work through your fears in regards to emotional attachment. Because um, I'm getting that this person or thing or situation that you're refusing to let go of, I don't even think it has anything to do with that certain place or that certain person. I'm hearing that it may even be baggage that you've been carrying for a while and this is almost like triggering a reaction out of you. Um, it's almost like it's similar to something that may have happened in your life already, or it's causing a certain similar feeling that maybe you've had before. I'm hearing that it's repressed. And so you're getting highly triggered right now because it's not necessarily this place or person that's causing you to feel this way. It's a memory of something or it's 
causing you to feel a certain way that maybe you felt in your past regarding someone else or something else. And I will say this in my own, just in my own personal experience. Um, before I started, you know, before I've been with my husband, I've been with my husband for almost 10 years now. So this was a while ago. Um, but in high school, I dated this guy who was like my first boyfriend. So just remember that. Um, and he cheated on me throughout that whole relationship. We were together off and on for like three years. Um, he was, you know, into substance abuse. I was never into that stuff, but I, I tend to attract people that have substance abuse issues or they've grown up in poverty or they have really hard home lives. And that just seems to be a cycle that I have been having to go through in my own life as I keep channeling people or sorry, I keep attracting people like that in my life. Um, but this person that I dated for three years off and on, he was, I I'm just going to say this, he was very emotionally abused by his own mother. Um, they had a very toxic relationship and I'm not trying to make excuses for him, but I, honest to God, I believe that he actually hated women. Um, and he would inflict a lot of the emotional and mental abuse <clears throat> onto me that he would receive from his own mom. Um, so it was like this very vicious cycle of him like turning his phone off for weeks so that I couldn't get a hold of him. He'd be cheating on me. He would be, you know, love bombing me. He'd be, it would go from like, he wanted nothing to do with me to wanting to be back in my life. And it was this cycle of yo-yoing, him playing with my feelings and him using me. And so back to what I was trying to explain, I finally ended up leaving him because he gave me, he, he kept pushing me in this position where I had to, like, I tried so hard to be with this person where now that I look back, I'm just like, I don't know why I stuck around, but I think I had some sort of emotional wound of like abandonment. Um, so again, it wasn't even him, but even after I left this boyfriend, I started dating someone else and I recognized that I was starting to act a little bit <laughs> crazy, right? Um, because of the mental abuse of this boyfriend, I was starting to assume that this other partner was cheating on me if he wouldn't like call me back right away or if he wasn't messaging me and it would cause me to have this anxiety fight or flight reaction. Um, I feel really bad. I, I'm embarrassed to be admitting this, right? But I had to really look at myself and be like, wow, like this person caused me a lot of pain and that wasn't fair to me. But now I'm causing someone else to go through turmoil and causing drama in a separate relationship because of someone else doing that to me. I didn't want to bring that into other relationships. And like, even when I was married, you know, I'm married to my husband, that was a wound that I've been continuously working on because there's going to be moments and times where I get triggered, even though they're not doing anything wrong, but like certain things will be said or certain feelings from the past will come up and I'll be triggered. And I have to talk myself out of this feeling of like, I'm safe. I'm okay. This person that I love is not going to hurt me or betray me. And I'm getting that it's a very similar thing that you may be going through is this person or thing isn't the culprit of your emotions. It's something that happened maybe a while ago, but this situation is bringing it up. All right. Um, I know I've been kind of talking your ear off today and I've been kind of getting a little bit um, personal, so I'm sorry. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to what is for you, right? So I just wanted to go ahead and give you closure on what it is that you need to walk away from. But let's see what is next for you and what is for you, right? Let's go ahead and see what your spirit guides want you to know that's in store for you. What is for you and what is next for you? What is heading your way that is for you? Show the world the real you. So I'm seeing this as authenticity. I'm seeing what's next for you. And do you see how you're watering something? I'm seeing this as watering yourself. You're holding on to something that doesn't fit you. It's not you. But what's next for you is you're going to be tending to your own needs and tending to your own emotions. So I was even saying earlier before, um, and 
just what I was channeling for you, pile two, that you may have been mimicking someone or something, or you've been trying to change yourself in a way to fit a situation that isn't for you. Like you're trying to make yourself a triangle when you're a circle or vice versa. <laughs> Honestly, it doesn't matter what shape you are or whatever, but it seems like you're no longer going to be wearing a mask. You're no longer going to be charading as someone else, um, but you're also no longer going to be downplaying your feelings or I'm hearing faking yourself out. So there's something about you not being real with yourself. Maybe not necessarily with other people, but you not being real with you. So that is something that's next for you is I'm seeing this as you really focusing on what makes me happy and what would make me feel good in the long run. And also there's healing here that's being involved. You're going to be maybe even speaking out your truth, talking about the things that you've gone through, if that resonates for you, but you're just going to be real. I'm just seeing this as you wanting to be real and I'm here for the first time. So this may be something that's like brand new to you. Um, in regards to them being real, what is this talking about? And we got strength. Yeah, pile two, you're going to be learning how to channel this pain. A lot of this is like, I'm hearing repressed memories and pain. It's almost like you're going to be coming from like this mindset of being insecure maybe or feeling stuck or feeling scared. And you're going to be transmuting that into personal power. Um, it's like you're going to be forcing yourself to no longer feel this way anymore. And that's a lot easier said than done, pile two. Um, like I was telling you before, this, the feelings that I had, I used to have, I actually been really recognizing this in myself this past year. I am naturally very drawn to chaotic people. Um, they're not bad people, just, but just people that, you know, cause drama or they're unstable, um, or people that, you know, are going through issues. And I was telling you that I attract people that have, you know, hard home lives or substance abuse issues. Um, it's like, I want to fix people. There's something about me that I'm like, I want to heal them. I want to fix them. And I wasn't conscious of that in the beginning. But also, I think a lot of it had to do with I had extremely low self esteem issues. I was very insecure. And so part of me thought that I didn't deserve better. Um, these people that would treat me like crap. I didn't think that I deserved to be treated well. So I kept attracting some similar patterns in my life. Um, but I'm not saying that it's all their fault. Again, I had a lot of flaws too. Um, I was causing myself to have drama because I was attracted to drama, but then I would complain about the drama. So I've had to really come to realize that some of the tendencies that I had, it's almost like I would get bored if there wasn't drama happening in my life or I wanted I almost like a, a project. I wanted to fix people because it was like a project for me. It was something that I could focus on. It almost made me feel like I had purpose being able to help people. And I felt <laughs> this is kind of like getting a little bit too deep, but it's crazy that I'm admitting this, but I recognize that I have that behavior, that I want to fix people that I consider broken or sad, um, but it would almost be at the detriment of my own well-being. Um, I thrived in that energy. I felt like things were happening in my life through someone else's perspective. It's like maybe I felt like I was lonely or maybe I felt like I was bored or maybe I feel like I needed something to happen in my life and I, I would attract these people that had issues because it was almost like exciting for me and it was almost like I was able to help these people. It made me feel valuable. And for me to admit this on camera is quite embarrassing, but I had to really recognize that um, some of the things that were happening in my life that were drama that I was complaining about was because of my own doing, right? I had to take accountability for the things that I perceived as negative in my life. I was partaking in actions that I was, I was the culprit for some of it, right? And so I'm seeing that for you, you are going to be finding strength possibly in your flaws and your vulnerability and being able to be real with yourself and taking accountability. Um, no longer making yourself a victim and actually recognizing like, where can I do better? What can I fix in my life? And what do I need to take control of? Because I'm seeing that you like to be in control of outcomes. You like to be in control of maybe other people's emotions. But this is a time to look inward and be in control of your own dang self. I'm hearing that. 
Um, if you want to control something in your life, take a, take a mirror and look at yourself. And I'm not trying to say that in a hurtful or rude way because we all have to do that. Again, you're going to be getting clarity in regards to what you need to improve or work on. And I'm seeing that this is a journey of you. This is a soul journey of you, your identity, and what you can fix within yourself. My mom always told me that we can't control people, but we can control our own actions our, and our reactions to people. So I think you're going to be really doing a deep dive on what you need to work and improve on, right? Um, and just learning how to not feel like you have to be fake or you feel like you have to fit yourself in situations that are not for you. And again, that's a lot easier said than done. Being able to be bold and being true to you is a difficult thing. Um, but yeah, that is why I'm getting Daniel. I don't know if you guys are religious or not. I'm not, but I grew up Christian. I'm seeing the strength card as Daniel and the lion's den. Um, it's making me think of that story in the Bible of where he was thrown into the lion pit and he was going to be killed for his convictions. He's going to be killed for his faith, right? For his belief. Um, so they threw him in the lion's den and God protected him by making the lions not eat him or attack him at all. And he was in there for days, right? Um, these lions would not touch Daniel and it was because of his, his belief and, and faith in God. Um, and I don't know why I felt like I needed to bring that story up, but for some reason it made me think of that. So your faith and your trust and being a better person and being strong enough to be who you are, your spirit guides and the universe are going to be backing you up. So if you're afraid of you being who you are is going to be leaving you alone or a bystander or things are going to be bad that could be happening that could be crippling you in some sort of way i'm seeing that your spirit guides will not let you be be defeated for being yourself so that's something that you need to know is if you choose to do something that feels like you that your spirit guides are going to back you up and as i said that the higher power card is underneath this deck yeah your spirit guides want to help bring closure to this cycle in your life and that's something that you need to know you are being assisted when it comes to this ending, all right? But pile two, oh, one last message. I don't know why I, uh, yeah, one last message. I just pulled these two cards. We got beauty and we got courage. There's a really big emphasis on the body here. And also there's like two backs here that are naked in a mirror. Your spirit guides are telling you, I'm getting mixed messages here. Your spirit guides are telling you that you are going to be going through some sort of glow up in terms to your physical appearance. Um, that's something that you may actually not be expecting. I'm seeing that this is being assisted by your spirit guides for you to feel more beautiful in your own skin. Um, and possibly you could be making tweaks or adjustments to your physical appearance. But the other thing that I want to say too is I'm hearing that you need to be able to turn your back on the past. There's going to be people that will be trying to come back into your life or situations that will try to come back into your life. And I'm seeing that these are past people or situations that you once held very close to you or you once had a lot of control issues with. And your spirit guides are telling you to recognize your worth and be able to walk this path alone if you have to. Having the courage to choose yourself and not these people that may love bomb you or these people that may try to play up your feelings, make you feel sentimental, make you feel sad, make you feel um, like you miss them or miss the situation because again, you are a circle trying to fit into a triangle and now it's going to be, I'm seeing this as roles reverse. This is going to be people trying to come back into your life or situations trying to come back into your life when, again, you are recognizing that you are a circle. You have transformed, right? You are, you're who you need to be. And I'm hearing that you're who the universe has made you to be. And you shouldn't be ashamed of that. Um, these people in these situations, you need to turn the cold shoulder on. You need to turn your back on because, again, the whole message here, it is not for you. But pile two, that's all that I have to say. I really hope that this helped you guys out and I will see all of you in the next one. Bye. Pile three, welcome to your guys's pick a card reading about a truth that is about to be revealed in your life very soon. Um, so like the other piles that I did, 
I am only going to be pulling cards through this Oracle deck today. It's actually three different Oracle decks that I've mixed into one big deck. So these are the only cards I'm going to be pulling through. Sorry, pulling through for today. There's not going to be anything else. Um, but I want to give you the channeled message that I was channeling for you before we start your reading. I was hearing that change is headed your way whether you are ready for it or not. I think most of you guys that have picked on this pile, you have been praying and wishing for something to happen in your life. You've been praying for something to end. You've been wanting to manifest something in particular. Like I'm getting images of spiders. So you guys could be seeing a lot of spiders in your home or you just like spiders. Uh, but this is about you wanting to make your dream into a reality. You want to be able to create the life that you want. And I'm getting that you've been really unsure or uncertain about what you want in your life, but you know you want something to change. And you need to know that that is heading your way. I'm hearing very soon, so it's going to be like a short time uh, after this video. I want to see what month and also what time. Let's see what time of the year this change is going to be heading your way. So we got Sagittarius season for some of you guys, but I'm also going to be using my dice to see. We also got um, March. So this would be seen as March. But if you also see the 11 is here, which is also November and November is also Sagittarius season. So for some of you guys, most of you, Sagittarius season, which is November, December time frame, there is a big change that's going to be headed your way. But for others of you, this could be happening around March if you guys are watching this at a later date. Um, let's see what this change is because it's something that you've been praying for, but it's almost like you don't know what you want to change. It's like you want something to be... I guess that's not the right thing. You you know what you want to change in your life, but you don't know how to initiate it. You don't know how to make it you don't know how to start it, right? So it's like, it's making me think of when you order something. Um, they're like, okay, well, what do you want the topping to be? Or what do you want it to look like? And you're like, surprise me. I just, I want this item, but I don't have a specific way of how I want it to look. It's almost like you're ready for the spirit team, your spirit guides to kind of just surprise you with this change. You're just like, for example, I want to change in my home environment, or I want to change in my job, or I want to change in my love life, or I want to change in how I make my money or my friend circle or whatever. And then they're like asking for details on how you want that to be done. You're like, I don't know. Just do it the, the way that you think would be the best suited for me or do it in a way that would make me the happiest. So it's like you are expecting some sort of wild card. You're like spirit guides, like I don't want to control anything anymore because every time I try to micromanage my manifestations or I try to make it a specific or certain way, it never ends up the way that I want it to be in the long run. So you're like, okay, God, spirit guides, universe, I don't care what you want to call them. It's whatever you guys believe in pile three, but you're like, okay, I am ready for a change. I want this certain area of my life to be different. You have total control and creative freedom to give me what I, th what you think that I would be the most happiest with. And that's awesome that you're doing that because I still struggle with very hard control issues when it comes to just letting go of the reins. I've been working on it, but there's times where it's like, no, I don't want to leave this person or no, I don't want my home life to change in that way. Or no, I don't want to leave my job because with change comes endings, right? But also it means new beginnings and it's exciting, but it's scary because it's the unknown, embracing the fear of the unknown. Um, but it seems like Wow. Okay. I'm getting this. Uh, <laughs> I'm getting this image. This used to be like a really popular um, meme. It's this dog sitting in his house, drinking a cup of coffee and his whole living room is on fire. And he's just sitting there saying, this is fine. It's like your whole life may even be feeling like it's in shambles right now. So you're like, how much worse can it get? You're just like, okay, God, like, help me out. Like, I obviously do not know what the fuck I'm doing. Like, just take total control and please help me out. That's maybe how you're feeling. Um, and so your spirit guides are like, bet. Like, I'm going to help you out. I got this. You don't need to worry. All right. So let's go ahead and see what change is about to be heading your way 
looks like towards November, December timeframe or March. So let's see what this change is involving for you. Know you are loved. So you may be getting, wow, I'm hearing a confession. So someone may be coming to you to either, again, this could be involving your love life. They could be letting you know like, hey, I love you or hey, I have a crush on you. This could be someone like a suitor, right? A romantic partner wanting to come forth. Um, this could be someone wanting to take your relationship to the next level. But if this has nothing to do with love, I'm seeing that you're going to be feeling very highly appreciated in an area of your life. So for example, if this is regarding your career or how you make money, this could be a really great time for you to receive money making opportunities, or this could be someone like spreading the word, like word of mouth. Um, your boss could be, you know, appreciating the work that you've been doing behind the scenes and wanting to give you some sort of promotion or a raise. But this is like people around you are going to be, you know, recognizing your worth and appreciating you at this time. And because of that, that opens the doors to new opportunities. And I'm also seeing something in regards to this moon that's black that's being covered. It's like you were hiding in plain sight, or maybe someone or something in your life was hiding in plain sight. So I'm getting that what the truth that's going to be revealed is either you are about to be almost presented to the world, you are about to be revealed, or maybe there's a major character in your life that's about to be revealed in your life. Um, but I'm getting that it's either you or another person that could be presenting, you know, new experiences and new opportunities in your life. But I'm really getting recognition for you. Um, you're going to be recognized. You're going to be seen. You're going to be valued for you. And again, that could be love. That could be partnerships, friendships commitments. Um, I am getting that there's a major commitment and it could be business or it could be love life related. I want to get some details on that with my dice because I'm, I'm seeing something regarding yeah, Jupiter as well as the eighth house. So again, Jupiter is all about abundance and expansion and a lucky break. Um, lots of opportunities, but I'm also seeing the eighth house as again, investments. Um, shared resources, longevity. This is like something that will last a long time. So I'm seeing this as a lucky break or lots of opportunities for investments or for marriage or for, you know, a legacy. This could be contracts, but it's making me think that you are going to be recognized and being presented multiple opportunities for long-term investments. Again, marriage, money, potentials and things. That's what it's making me think of. So I'm seeing this being a very lucky time in your life. And I don't know if you know this or not. Um, but yeah, you're going to be very highly appreciated and you're going to be respected and you're going to be getting recognition during this time in your life that will be very beneficial to changes that you want to happen in your life. Um, okay, there we go. So, um, we also have the law of attraction as well as, oh, sorry, as well as new moon and Aries go for it. So yeah, this is going to be a time in your life where why am I hearing all time low? And I'm not seeing this as like all time low as in a bad thing. I'm seeing this as the band. Like, I don't know if you guys know that band all time low for some reason that came into my mind and that's relevant for someone here. Um, there could be a song that maybe you guys listen to by All Time Low that could be relevant or maybe, I don't know why I heard that. Um, if it's for you, you, you'll know if it's for you, right? But the law of attraction with Go For It, it, it's making me think that your manifestations are going to be popping off during this time. And not only that, we have Libra season right here as well as Aries. So these could be placements that you have, but I'm mostly seeing that like, from Libra season, I saw Sagittarius season, which is a couple months after this. I'm seeing Libra season all the way through Aries season. You are going to be seeing a lot of manifestations come into your life. And that's a really big jump. So if you're watching this when I post this right now, Pile 3, um, we are currently in Gemini season. Libra season starts September, October. So this would be like, if you're watching this right now, this would be like the rest of 2024 into the very beginning of 2025 of manifestations starting to come into your life. So this could be from like September all the way through April 
of manifestations and that's a big that's a long time it's like an abundance of manifestations that maybe you have been waiting to happen in your life and it's like spirit is like okay we're ready now like unleash <laughs> unleash the blessings onto pile three so you need to know pile three the changes that you want are coming very soon they're literally on hold if you've been like waiting for things to happen if this is like you're watching this when I post this, this will be happening in the next couple of months because in a couple of days, it's going to be June. That's going to be June, July, August, September. That's only four months away. So you're really close to having this season, season, yeah, seasons of manifestations, right? Because seasons, it's not just a season of like fall. It's like fall, winter, spring, three seasons of blessings and manifestations and things finally coming into fruition all right so i want to see what what is the biggest area of your life that's going to be going through a massive change i want to see what that is before i end your guys's reading hold your vision so whatever you have been committed to the most is going to be the thing that has the most changes um, also I'm seeing mountains here. So anything that you've been having the most challenges in, I'm seeing that this is the area of your life that you have been struggling with the most, but it's also the area of life that you have been committed to the most. So look at your life right now and ask yourself, where have I been putting the most time? Where have I been having the most, um, obstacles in my life? Like, what are you focusing on? to a T right now that's not going the way that you want it to be because we all we as people we go through multiple things that are challenging it's not just one thing in our lives we you know it, it's life it's hard. hard hard life is hard okay but I'm seeing there's been one thing that's been on your mind the major thing the major theme element of like I wish this could change because the rest of these other problems wouldn't be as big they'd be more minuscule that is what's going to be going through the biggest glow up is what I'm hearing. So let's see. You and your loved ones are safe. You could even be worried that your family unit, your people that you care about, they could be getting affected by this issue. I'm seeing this could be issues with family. This could be like maybe you live with your family and you're trying to financially support everyone and money's been tight. That's something that you need to know. It seems like you and other people are going to be benefiting from this one manifestation. Um, you've been holding your vision and your commitment with helping you and the people that you care about most. Um, yeah, your spirit guides need you to know that this, sorry you guys, I'm like moving my phone all around today. There is a huge block being released in regards to a manifestation regarding you and another person or you regarding your family or the people that you care about. And this could be money issues. This could just be, again, communication was here. This can be communication issues. Um, there's something here that you want to fix or you want this problem to be solved regarding you and other people that you love and care about. Um, so kind of just take what resonates for you in that situation. All right. Um, let's get one last card for you before I end your guys' reading about what is one thing that you need to know? Just anything else that you need to know before I sign off today. Okay, this... <laughs> abundance so you need to know that abundance i think this is something that you're really worried about is you're worried about not having the opportunities not having the money and nothing happening abundance doesn't necessarily mean money pile three but it means a lot of and we got jupiter earlier so you need to know that you're going to be getting a lot of growth a lot of movement a lot of travel plans lots of opportunities that is heading your way right now so I'm seeing there's going to be a lot of things, not just one thing, not just one solution, but many solutions to many of your problems from literally fall all the way to spring time. So when you watch this, the next, the next fall time frame of when you're watching this is when this is going to be starting for you, all right? You need to know that conclusions are within reach, you are so close to ending cycles that have been making you feel stuck, all right? But pile three, that is all that I have to say for you, all right? I hope that you guys have a good rest of your day. I hope this reading was helpful. Know that you are protected, all right? You need to know that too. 
and I will see all of you guys very, very soon. Bye.